One day, the companions were sitting in the masjid talking about the Jal or the Antichrist, the Jal. They were telling whatever they had heard, whatever the Prophet had told them. And the stories grew into legends, legends grew into myth, as you know how it goes. And the Sahaba became a bit scared, a bit terrified. When the Prophet ﷺ came to see what they were doing, he saw a group of people who looked a little bit scared. So he said, what is the matter? Why are you so terrified? So they said, we were talking about the coming of the Jal, the coming of the Antichrist. And we were very terrified. We got very worried and concerned. So the Prophet ﷺ said, do you know something that is more terrifying for me that will afflict you than the Antichrist himself? Then Dajjal, they said, what, O Messenger of Allah? He said, minor shirk. Minor shirk here means polytheism. So the companion said, what do you mean by minor shirk? What is minor shirk, O Messenger of Allah? He said, it is when a man stands up to pray and then he sees somebody looking at him and so he beautifies the prayer because he sees somebody looking at him. So the man is praying, he says Allahu Akbar, he's intending Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he finds somebody staring at him in the masjid. All of a sudden he straightens his back. And then he begins with tilawa and tajweed. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. And when he finishes the fatah, he gives a long ameen. He knows the guy is looking, so he says, begins with baqara. Alif lam meem. Typically he reads, inna a'tinaka al kawthar. But now the guy is looking, so he begins with Surah Baqarah. This is how the Prophet ﷺ defined minor shirk, beautifying the prayer. And that is changing your intention, or I should say, corrupting your intention. This is what minor shirk is. It is to corrupt your intention and to add others besides Allah in order to gain praise of other people. So you're praying to Allah, you're not praying to an idol. Had you prayed to an idol, this is major shirk, right? This is not major shirk, this is minor shirk. You're not praying to an idol. You're not prostrating to a false god. You are praying to Allah. You're giving charity for Allah. You're doing what you're doing for Allah. And then your niyyah is corrupted. Your niyyah transforms, your intention transforms. What does it transform into? To gain a little bit of recognition, a little bit of praise from the people. So there's a dual intention. There is deep down an intention to please Allah. That's why you're praying. But there's also an intention to gain recognition, to gain fame, to make people think that you're holy and pious. And this is what we call showing off or riya. And this is exactly what the Prophet ﷺ defined minor shirk to be. Do realize that excessive minor shirk, continual minor shirk, is actually a sign of a hypocrite. A pure munafiq, a hypocrite. Everything that he does, he does for the people. Why does he come to the masjid? He wants to impress the people he's praying. Why does he give charity? He wants the people to think he's, he's giving charity. If a person's entire life and entire deeds suffer from riya, from showing off, this person is a hypocrite. This person is a hypocrite because his entire worship was dedicated for the sake of his fame, his recognition, his prestige, his ego. And our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Allah said, I am the entity that is least in need of any association. I don't need partnership. This is a hadith Qudsi, the famous hadith. I am in least need of partnership. I don't need to share anything with anybody. So anybody who does something to please me and to please someone other than me. Notice this is minor shirk here. He's not doing it for an idol. He's not doing it for some other entity. Anybody who does something to please me and other than me, I leave him to his partner. Let his partner reward him. I'm not going to reward him. So this man who stands up to pray and he straightens his back and he recites Surah Al-Baqarah and he wants to impress the people, does not realize that his whole salah, his whole prayer will be thrown back at him. Come time for the fundraiser. Somebody writes that magnificent massive check and his intention 
for writing the check is so that it's announced on the podium. Oh, mashallah, Dr. So-and-so gave half a million dollars. Takbir! Everybody says takbir. Now his ego is larger than the room in which the takbir was said. When this happens, we have a serious problem. And that is the problem of minor shirk. That is the problem that the Prophet ﷺ said, I am more worried about this problem than the Antichrist. Do you know why? Even though, according to our tradition, the Dajjal is the most terrifying event that will ever happen to humanity. When the Antichrist comes, the seas are going to split and the moon is going to... All of these things are going to happen. Why is the Prophet ﷺ more scared for the existence of minor shirk than he is for the coming of the Antichrist. It's an element of pragmatism and reality. The Antichrist, the Jad, is only going to come once. And when he comes, may Allah help the people at that time. But until he comes, there will come hundreds of generations, thousands of generations. They're all suffering from this disease, from this calamity of insincerity, of mixing their purity for Allah with wanting the praise of the people. And this is a real and present danger. So why, O oh companions, why are you talking about something that is far away when you have a clear and present danger right here and now? And that is insincerity. So he said, I am more worried about insincerity, about showing off, about riya, about minor shirk, than I am about the coming of the Dajjal. And it's going to be more harmful to my ummah than the coming of the Dajjal.